children have the right to have their opinions. Children have to be given the opportunity to express their views and opinions about their personal experience and aspirations at all stages of their process. At the same time, the child's age and developmental stage have to be taken into account as it is noted that it is the responsibility of the parent and the state authorities to protect the child and ensure that he or she is not dragged into harmful activities in the society. However, in ensuring that a child's right law is protected in the society, the Lagos State Child Protection Network have come together to train non-governmental organizations who are into child rights law in the state on the need to create more awareness to ensure that children are being protected from all forms of abuse. Child trafficking and their rights are being protected in the society. Speaking at the training hall, the Lagos State Child Protection Network the state coordinator Aderonke Oyelakin had a voice on the need for collective responsibility alongside a gender and developmental specialist, Chibogu Opewa. We all need to work collectively. We need to work together, work with all the stakeholders that need to be involved. If we are going to be having returnees around us, we need to have plans for them. We need to have psychosocial support plans. We need to have those that will do counseling, those that will do therapy, the shelter they will even get to. And knowing that the shelters available from NAPTI, the spaces are not so much. And they are really doing their own best. But I think most of us, we still need to find a way to even prevent it from happening. There are two aspects. Of course, you have the aspect of psychosocial support. So they should actually ensure that there are platforms for them to be reintegrated into their society, into the society. So they have to provide, for instance, maybe skills acquisition centers, psychosocial support uh, system for them to feel back at home, and also prevention mechanisms, you know, um, as well as ensuring that they are not um, stigmatized that they are not judged for being trafficked because most times they're actually victims, you know, that survived the trafficking. So government needs to, you know, do a whole lot. And government needs to also engage with civil society because they also are very close to, I mean, they do the work at the grassroots level and they understand the dynamics of it. So there needs to be a cross-sector collaboration between government, uh, like NAPTIC, and civil society, which is good because NAPTIC is a member of Child Protection Network. So it's a very um, significant component of child protection network. So there's that synergy between government and civil society. The stakeholders, however, urge the federal government to help create skills acquisition in empowering those who are being deported back to the country so as to help them get back to their feet and not be a burden to the society. Other participants also add the words of advice. Stakeholders have been doing their best, just that uh, we need to step up our game in terms of supporting uh, the reintegration for return vulnerable migrants. You know, a lot of them are, have been dehumanized, they have uh, gone through a lot of issues. Now when they return back, there's no enough uh, structure to take care of them and ensure that their, um, their integration is actually sustainable. So on the side of the government, yes, they are trying. When you look at the, the involvement of NAPTIP, that is the APES agency in the issue of um, trafficking in persons, they have been doing their own bit as a government, you know, and um, the CSOs have, have always been supporting them too. So in the course of this uh, deportation, a lot of them encounter psychological problems. There are lots of psychological problems that they go through. You know, some of them start having... Um, emotional problems they get involved in drugs and um, some of them end up in mental institutions and some of them come with children and these children are also affected so we as child protection network we try our best to make sure these people are reintegrated back into the society we make sure that we, we go to the families who these people are returning to and we help the family to be resilient 
How do we help them to be resilient? We talk to the families and the community so that they, they'll be able to welcome these returnees with open arms and not, and not judge them when they come or make them feel worse than they already do. However, the stakeholders encourage the society to welcome the returnees with open arms and stop rejection, blaming and making them feel unwanted as it would only result to mental disturbance to them and create even more problem in the society.